Suppose the length of each side of a regular hexagon of A, B, C, D, E, F is 2 cm. T is the midpoint of C, D. Then the length of A, T in centimeters is excellent, excellent question. Regular hexagon. E. Each side measures 2. T is the midpoint of C, D. The length A, T of length of A, T in centimeters. So let's draw this. So this is 2, this is 2, this is 1. Very interesting because we, 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 don't, we don't know. We want to find AT. If there are diagonal, it is easy. The AD measures 4. AC is easy. AC measures... This is 4, this is 2 root 3. That is nice and simple. But we want to find AT. That's going to be interesting. How do we find AT? AD measures 4, AC measures 2 root 3. We want to find AT. Remember, AT is not perpendicular to CD. We can't just plug in Pythagoras theorem and simplify. That doesn't work. We cannot work like that. So we need to figure out some other mechanism of, of, of cracking this. So mid T is the midpoint of CD, 1 and 1. We can use some, some trigonometric ratio and then, and then figure this out. We can find the angles and simplify, but I, hey, it's still tough. It's still tough because you can, this is 60, and so this is 30. So this angle is 30. We know two sides. We can find the, uh, we know all three sides, so we can find that angle, but we want to find AT, not anything else. Very interesting question. Because this angle is 30. This angle is 90, 2 root 3 and 1. So ACT is a right angle triangle. This is 1, this is 2 root 3. AT perhaps we can find because it's 120 degrees the internal angle. This is 30, 30, 120, 30, 90. So 2 root 3 whole square, 3 into 2, 12, 12 square plus 1 square. It adds up to 13. This is a hypotenuse. 1, 1. So, square root of 13 should work. Let me just check that. Perfect. And so, I'm just going to go over this method because I think I've rushed through a little bit. I'm trying to find, first of all, I know that in a regular hexagon of side A, this diagonal is 2A, this diagonal is root 3A. Just Pythagoras theorem, no rocket science there. Plugging in that idea, 2, 2, 2 root 3, 4. In a regular hexagon, each internal angle is 120. So this is 120. So nice of such triangle, 30 and 30. This whole angle is 120. This is 30, this is 90. This diagram, where, where I made the mistake, I looked at this question and I kept on thinking angle ATC is 90. It's not the case. Angle ACT is 90. This is 2 root 3. This is 1. This is, this is 90. So this, this is a hypotenuse of that triangle. Square root of 2 root 3 whole square plus 1 square. Square root of 12 plus 1 root 13. I did all kinds of nonsense for this question.